Republicans critical of Donald Trump often face backlash within the party. And today, it's Congresswoman Liz Cheney's turn to learn her fate in one of the nation's most closely watched primaries in Wyoming. Polls show the vice chair of the House January 6th committee is trailing her challenger by double digits. Robert Costa is in Jackson, Wyoming. Bob, good morning. Good morning, Nate. Since the odds are stacked against her in this deeply red state, Congresswoman Liz Cheney has been encouraging Democrats to switch parties and vote for her. And here in Wyoming, that is something you can do on Election Day. But even if they do, polls do show that the Trump-endorsed challenger in this race, Harriet Hageman, is likely headed for a big victory. Voters head to the polls today to decide whether Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney keeps her seat in the House. Hageman will defend our border. Her Trump-backed opponent, Harriet Hageman, has falsely called the 2020 election rigged. If defeated, Cheney, the vice chair of the House January 6th committee, would be the eighth House Republican who supported Trump's impeachment to be exiting Congress. USA! Underscoring the tight grip Trump has over the GOP. Her whole focus has been against one individual, whether she has information or not, instead of focusing on her district itself. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, who Cheney once stood alongside in the House leadership before being voted out after clashing with Trump, has endorsed her rival and is meeting with top donors in Wyoming this week. This is truly a linchpin moment for the United States. Beyond the mountains here, Cheney's political crucible has drawn support from Trump critics, even some Democrats. Minnesota Congressman Dean Phillips has been urging Wyoming Democrats to temporarily switch parties so they can support his colleague across the aisle. What's at stake for the country uh, is its entire direction. Uh, we have all witnessed, those of us who were in the Capitol on January 6th, those of us who have now endured uh, Trumpism, uh, have recognized how fragile, how fragile democracy really is. Jackson Councilman James Rooks is a self-described centrist who registered as a Republican to support Cheney. She has character. She's a real person. Who in the Democratic Party is doing what Liz Cheney is doing, risking their careers to come to the center? We're expecting Cheney tonight to give a speech warning that the former president is a threat to American democracy. And looking ahead, she has not ruled out another run for office, including one for the White House. And if she does that, she would have a national fundraising base, having raised over $13 million for this contest. Gail? All right, so she clearly feels she has more to do. But, Bob, there are also primaries in Alaska today. Could possibly, could possibly Sarah Palin be making a comeback? How's her race looking in her run for Congress? Gail, it is quite possible. The former Alaska governor and the 2008 Republican vice presidential nominee, Sarah Palin, mounting a comeback, running in a special House election for the seat held by the longtime congressman, the late Don Young. Sarah Palin has been active in national politics in recent years, but this is her first run for office since she was on the ticket with John McCain in 2008. Since then, she has become an ally of former President Trump. All right, we'll all be watching. Thank you, Bob.